Hello again. I wanted to make today's video based on this wonderful art that my son did yesterday. It is a Pokemon Pikachu and he drew it based on a book that we have upstairs and I thought it was awesome. And as soon as he did it, I thought I need to try to draw this and I'm going to try to draw mine exactly like his. So I'm going to be using this photo as the reference. I'm going to try my best to draw it here. And then instead of using crayon, I thought I would try to use watercolor and just see how that goes. So follow along and let's see how this goes. I think that this, I think his drawing is amazing. I think all parents feel that way about their kids' art. I'm really interested to see if the watercolor works. On this drawing. I've never done this before so we're gonna find out together. I'm already feeling like this one is cuter. <laughs> would say in our house drawing or painting or coloring is the go-to for what to do when we want to be creative but need a little downtime that's probably why I, one of the reasons why I started this channel because I like to do it and they like to do it so thought maybe if I made videos of us of the things that we do here like the kids art or the art that I'm doing you might enjoy it as well I know there's lots of videos on YouTube that anyone can watch but I'm glad you're watching this one I am certainly not a professional at YouTube or art Pikachu and just another example of everyone's art is as individual as they are and me trying to copy my sons is it's interesting I got the little pink parts down here okay I think I got all the outlines there now this down here is a pokeball I think I am also not an expert in like Pokemon stuff yet it's coming I, Pokemon is a big deal in our house right now and it's also important for you to think about the power of the word yet that's something we talk about a lot in our house right now is something isn't working if you don't understand something if you can't ride your bike if you can't put your socks on anything that makes you feel like you just want to be able to achieve something and you can't just try to think about you haven't done it yet but there will be a day when you can there's probably something that you've done or you can do now that you couldn't do before and you finally got there with practice so that's something we talk about a lot so I am not a Pokemon expert yet I am not a YouTube expert probably ever but here we are just trying it anyways 
So with my watercolors, the most important thing with watercolors is that you just get your brush wet and you get the paint wet. You have to activate the paint. So I'm trying to think about which yellow. I was going to do these, but it might be that one. So you take your wet brush, slide it around, and with the water and the paint combined together, they start to make a color. Oh, I think that's really good. A lot of watercolor artists will combine two colors to create different shades, and we can do that after. All right, let's see how this goes. We'll start up with the ear. It's a little light, ooh. And we're gonna pick up the pencil colors too, so I'm gonna be careful to not go all the way to the edges. But the reason I start on the left side of the paper is so that I'm not dragging my hand through it as we go. Try to be careful. It looks pretty close. I, I think I could actually use a, a darker yellow, so I'll show you what I was talking about. So you can add this yellow, shake that paint around, and then you put it over here and you can combine the two and just give it a little bit of a different color. I don't know how easily you can see that showing up. I mean, it's pretty good. And, oh yeah, there's still enough left on the brush. There's actually quite a bit of water on that page right now. You can sort of see as I move it around, but it's good. I'm going to go back in there. I'm going to try to do the face really delicately so I don't drag any of the gray pencil parts into the bright yellow. I'm doing it a little bit. That's just by accident. And I know I said this in my last video, but it's so important to remember that you can't control everything. And if things don't turn out the way you're planning them, that's okay. You just go with it. See how, see how you can make things better with what you have to work with. I know it's easier said than done, but there's no sense in wasting your day with things that sometimes you can't control, and that might seem silly as I'm talking about pencil getting into yellow paint, but it's just an example. See? I got right in that spot, but that's okay. Oh yeah, because that's going to be black. It's all good. And then you can see the paint's kind of wearing thin, so I'm going to go back over here. It's kind of amazing if you ever paint with watercolor that how little you actually need. Like, that doesn't look like a lot of paint. What do you think so far? I think once I get the eyes painted, it'll be less... Um, crazy look. <laughs> Let's get a lot more yellow and make it bigger because we're going to do the body so we the paint can the paint can handle more water and so can the paper. Go back in there, we'll add that color just like a little different and then bring them together. Okay. thinking about recreating this art using crayons just like my son did but I thought it might also be a good opportunity to share that sometimes you might not have the same supplies or art tools that someone else used and you can still work with what you've got might look a little different, but it'll be as good as you can do. Ooh, that is a lot of water coming off that brush. 
kind of speckly, but I, I don't mind it. That looks kind of good. Just drag that out a bit. And you can also use a paper towel to pat the brush off, but I don't think I need to yet. We're almost done with the yellow surfaces, so I really made a mess of this whole space <laughs> with all that yellow. Now, that's all the yellow. I'm just gonna go around and kind of fill in all the little extra parts, but then I'm gonna drag that pencil parts in. So, okay, maybe I won't do that. It's okay. So I'm just gonna put that. Okay, that's good. So we're gonna wash off the brush get all the yellow off I think we'll do the red next so maybe what I'll do is just kind of move some of that paint away as you can see from here this is old watercolor paint that's still really good it's just from different drawings I did and you can use it again so I think that's why watercolor is my favorite um, Let's do, I don't know, let's try this. Let's try this red. Is it kind of pinky? Oh no, that might be really good. That might be really good. Okay, let's do the cheek. If you don't have a lot of water on your brush, you can do really delicate paint strokes if you have the right size brush. See, even though I got it out of the lines there, that's okay. It's sort of the theme of today's art. Yeah. But how good is that red? I'm really excited for when my son gets home from school today. I told him I was going to do this today. Although he doesn't know about my YouTube channel, but and let's do the pokeball up here Just as I do this I'm wondering if you prefer to use crayons or pencil crayons or paint when you create art which one do you like better and I guess when I say that I don't mean it like we need to have a competition just more of what you're interested in I still like this one better because it came from my family and focus and dedication and hard work of a six-year-old but I was so happy when he drew it because it gave me such a good idea to do this today and show you that there's different ways of doing art. So you can see, do you remember when I talked about how much paint was on that little foot? It's kind of bled out and that's okay. And bleeding is, a, is also a term for paint, not, not like he's actually bleeding. <laughs> um, you can kind of cover it up. And there's a chance that the red is might go into the foot, but I'm surprised at how detailed I'm able to get with this tiny brush. I think that's good. Okay, so we'll move on to the gray. So clean off the brush. And there's a gray down here, so we'll use that. When I first got this paint set, I did not know that this part of the tray existed. I thought it just came with these colors and I used this a lot because this was a black, but one day I was like, what's this drawer? More paint. I was excited. Okay, so I think this, the red. Gray, that's good. 
and in here at our house when we don't know what to draw or not not quite sure where our creativity is gonna go sometimes I'll just say go pick out your a little action figure or your favorite stuffy and sit it down and then we think about if we want to draw that action figure or paint or try to use play-doh to sort of recreate recreate that character and when you give a few options usually we can come up with something that that fills up our time and we can work on together. Okay, so let's add the black. We can just kind of put the black in the gray because I'm not using gray anymore. Okay, so here's the point when I think our Pikachu might look a little less crazy in the eyes. Let's see how this black looks. Oh, that looks so good. And it's still okay when you get it outside of the line because there's a ton of water on this. I could have I could have brushed that off, but it's okay. It's such a nice black. And you just kind of like dab the brush and we'll see if it stays. Might not. Okay, let's do the nose. Yeah, you can see all that water just kind of coming off, so because we're going to because we're going to do the mouth, we'll just Take a little bit extra off. Kind of go back and forth. See if I drag it, it looks light gray, but then when I lift the brush off, you can see the dark black. So that might be a good strategy if we just drag it. Drag the brush so the paint knows where we want it to go and then just kind of dot it along. And if, if you're doing watercolor and you find that it's not quite dark enough, you can always go back over top of it after it's dry. And do different layers, do different details. part that's hard about making this video is that I know that if my son was here he would love watching this and watching me laugh my way through how crazy my version of this guy is looking but I have a quiet house right now so I thought it would be good it looks pretty good right it looks good <laughs> okay do the Pokeball, but now I'm realizing this paint is looking just as gray, so we're gonna go back in. Now it's really thick, so that might be good. We just need that to look different than the gray. There's a lot of really amazing art channels on YouTube that we follow along. There's one called Art Hub for Kids or Kids Art Hub. Sorry, I I can't remember which way is the right way, but they really do a great job of teaching you how to draw step by step. I love that channel. This video isn't so much a step by step, but just a watch and relax and maybe be inspired for another day. Okay, let's just touch up this. We'll do the black button on the Pokeball and then a big green swipe, and we'll be all done. So, down here. It's springtime now, while I'm making this video, so you might hear birds in the background. You may hear dogs barking as they walk by. Try to make sure you don't hear my dogs barking 
and pause the video because that happened yesterday. You know what I realized? I forgot that brown tail. Let's just try to do a little bit of brown. But the reason I hope that these videos are quiet is because I enjoy quiet videos. I love a quiet house. <laughs> It's usually pretty loud with our family, so when it's quiet, I really enjoy it. So I know that I enjoy videos like this that are sort of relaxing and quiet, so I thought I would try for kids. Now I was gonna see if I had my bigger brush. I do to do the green. Let's change up our brush if I could get it out. If I can. <laughs> and we're going to do the big patch of green at the bottom. So let's just wet that brush and I'll show you a new technique. So you can just add water and this is going to guide the color where to go. Kind of like what you saw up on the mouth. add all that water and then we're gonna pick our green I could actually show you how I pick up old colors too I could go in there see how I just add the water in there and then you kind of drag it along now I will add some new color to it too and then you can see how the page being wet already just sort of takes the paint and, and bleeds it up that term again, bleeding paint, bleeds it up and around. And we're almost done. So this has been so fun to recreate my son's art. I hope if you have character or stuffy or something that you like that you set it up and try to draw it and then you could even challenge people in your family to try to recreate one of your drawings because it is really tricky as a grown-up to recreate art that looks like this and I had so much fun doing it and I thought that mine looked a little crazy and that my son's looked amazing <laughs> um so yeah, there's no shortage of things that you can do as a family with what you have around the house and different challenges you guys can do together. And like I said, it's spring here, so sidewalk chalk is also a really big deal lately. So I hope that you have fun with whatever it is that you might do today or tomorrow and that you enjoyed this. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Bye.